Let's make a open challenge. There are so many technologies, processors, machineries in waste management. Out of that, how many of the creators, innovators, manufacturers will be ready to give an assurance, a written commitment that if those machineries, processors, technologies are not working as per the commitment, then they will take the machine back and return the money. They can detect the logistics, transportation, what, whatever might be the cost involved. How many do you think will be ready to give such a return assurance? And if you are thinking for such technology process machinery, there will be a agreement, a commitment, formality in place, but then why to worry? By the time you try to enforce the legal formality, you will be in a soup. If the machinery is not going to perform as per the commitment or if it is not working, then how are you going to generate revenue from where? And these legal obligation is going to take time. Then it's going to be in a very messy situation. And that is what we are going to look in today's video as part of the eight hours of trash technology. I am Praveen Kumar, the creator, educator at Trash the Trash and online learning social platform for you to create an impact, income, influence in waste management. With that, let's get into the video. In the previous Tech Tuesday series, as part of the eight hours of trash technology, we saw raw material, resource, recovery, and then the recovery rate. And in today's video, we are going to look at repair and maintenance. Again, this might come to your mind, repair and maintenance as part of any process technology or machinery it is going to come on a later date, need not be the case. From the day you commission the machinery, the process, technology, it is going to get started. Everything is going to come into picture because if the machine is not going to perform function as per the commitment, as per the criteria, then what is going to happen? What about the standard guarantee and warranty? Any product that you purchase, it has a specific guarantee and a warranty. Let me just give you a mere definition so that you can understand the difference between a guarantee and a warranty. Warranty is a written assurance by the manufacturer, by the producer that whatever fact, the specification that they have given, it is true and genuine. If it is otherwise, then they will either repair or replace it. Whereas guarantee is a promise by the manufacturer, by the producer, that if the product is below quality, then they will either repair or replace it. One is a written assurance, other is an implied promise. In your case, don't think only for entrepreneurs this is applicable, need not be the case. As part of compliance, as part of audit, as part of sustainability, as part of banking, financial obligation, this is going to make or break the whole business itself. From whomever the machinery, the process technology you're getting from, you have to do your due diligence. What about the standard guarantee and the warranty? What are the terms and conditions? The technology process or machinery ideally it should work for years. If not years, let's take the worst case months. If not months, weeks or let's take the case it breaks down within days. Then what do you think is going to happen? How are you going to run your business? What about the downtime? the outage, the loss for the business. This is not something that you should think after you encounter the problem. You have to think about in advance that when you encounter such a situation, such a problem, what are going to be the remediation? How are you going to address it? What are the commitments by the manufacturer, by the producer? If you talk to the innovators, the creators of the technology, the process of machinery, they will give you the reality, the truth. In the previous video, we talked about the fraud alert in terms of the recovery and the recovery rate, like how false claims are being made. The same is going to be applicable over here. Yes, the machinery, the processor technology is going to work. There is no doubt about it, but there are certain limitations which only a very few will disclose. Not everybody, the manufacturers, the producer of the machinery process technology, they won't disclose a lot of information. And that is creating so much of problem as an entrepreneur, as an audit person in terms of compliance, as a financial person, it is going to be your obligation, responsibility to do your due diligence because whatever technology process machinery which are out there, it has certain limitations. There is no one such technology machinery that can process all type of waste. Forget all type of waste. Take one waste type, plastic. 
do you think there is one machinery which can process all the plastic categories we have pet ldpe hdp multi-layer plastic single-use plastic pp and so on do you think or is there any single technology process or machinery which can process the various plastic types no again there are lots of ifs and buts and that is what is of utmost importance so you have to check your guarantee and warranty with respect to the machine the performance it might be in a form of a training or a maintenance plan one thing is about the performance the efficiency of the technology process or machinery on the other hand what if the machine breaks down or it needs some replacement some space something has to be fixed to meet the performance metrics that is something that you have to plan out in advance and that is what we are going to see next coming to the space what kind of space the machine is going to require it could be a part it could be a very small part or it could be a very big part is it going to be included as an accessory when you purchase a machine if yes is it going to be for free or is it going to be paid whether it is free or paid what is going to be the quantity due to wear and tear how often is it required to replace the part so accordingly the quantity is going to be determined what about the price if it is going to be for free then what about the quality is it of good quality or just because it is for free the quality is bad or if it is going to be for paid what is going to be the price you will not require just one spare you might require different spares for different parts of the machinery so are you going to get in advance as part of the machine supply or this is something that you're going to think about at a later stage if at a later stage let's take that you encountered a problem the machine had a problem then you need a spare so how much time are you going to take to bring the spare is it readily available with the manufacturer with your supplier or they have to order from somewhere or they have to get it from some other country then how much downtime are you going to face this is something that you have to think about when it comes to the spares are there any dependencies that you can get those spares only from your supplier from your machine manufacturer or can you get it somewhere from the local market again for that you need the specification is your supplier ready to give you that spare specification for example it could be the the material the dimension the physical properties or it could even be the chemical properties otherwise you have to depend on your supplier to get those spares so what is it going to be training how about training to operate the machinery who's going to provide the training yes as part of the machine installation operation the supplier of the machine they're going to offer the training the installation of the machinery but to what extent are they ready to share the knowledge are they trying to keep some dependency so that you are dependent on them is that the case because that training that is going to decide how well you will be able to operate the machinery the process the technology not only to operate the machine but in case if you encounter a problem how are you going to address it one is about the spare the other is what if you encounter a new problem then how is it going to get addressed let's say that you are facing a technical problem you are not able to troubleshoot because there are certain nitty gritties only the the supplier the manufacturer will know so in that case how are you going to troubleshoot how much time is it going to take that technical problem might be of a small nature so that it is not affecting your operation but what if something big has happened that you are not able to operate the machine or the performance is getting affected so in that case who is going to help you and how much time are they going to take if the machine supplier is in some other country that means you got the machine imported then how are you going to get it addressed is it going to be through a video call a audio call then to what extent will you be able to get it fixed if it gets fixed then that is going to be the best generally what happens is with the asian process technology machinery just to make it much more cheaper they use inferior quality material which breaks down eventually so how are you going to get it addressed how much downtime are you going to face if you're not able to troubleshoot over the video over the phone then someone has to come in person then think about the time whoever has to travel from one country to other country only a technical expertise 
it could be an electrical problem it could be a mechanical problem it could be a chemical problem so they have to travel from there they need to have the visa available to enter into your country so that is going to take time they have to travel they have to come to your place to get it fixed think about the time duration have you considered factored all of that in some cases which i have seen they have to send back the machine to other country from where they got it imported to get it repaired then think about the cost implication think about the downtime that is going to affect your business generally in waste management people don't consider this they just look at the recovery gold silver copper palladium like commodities that they're getting out of waste they don't consider or they don't give much importance to repair and maintenance what about the maintenance plan maintenance schedule is there any such thing so this is something that you have to have in place so whatever technology process machinery that you're going to deploy it could either be physical or mechanical thermal based chemical based or it could be a combination of these so again those machineries it will have certain wear and tear so that should be a regular maintenance done on it so that the machine can run smoothly if you neglect it then it is going to make things much worse so do you have any such plan trained professional who is going to handle the maintenance on a regular basis in the end i'm not telling all this to make you doubt any process technology or machinery but you need to understand whatever technology out there each has its own pros and cons this is something that you should remember it has certain limitations you need to understand that you have to factor that if you neglect that as part of your operations as part of your business it is going to backfire yes you will have an agreement in place formalities in place in terms of the performance the efficiency the schedule the budget and everything but when it is a cross-border agreement it is not going to be that easy for you to enforce it on which country you're going to have the jurisdiction in your country or in the other country or is it going to be in a third country so what is it going to be so that is going to be your last option when you face a problem but at first you need to think about the repair and maintenance if there is going to be a problem how are you going to tackle it handle it it has to be lean and agile which is nothing but you have to address the problem using a leaner approach agile approach where you improvise with a given constraint you can't say no it is not possible there is no other option no you have to improvise then only you'll be able to sustain in the business for that only i'm just trying to explain to you about all these problems as part of any process technology or machinery so this is about the fifth r as part of the eight hours of trash technology with that we are closing today's video i'll see you tomorrow with another video as part of the waste type wednesday